The Ultimate Year-End Bible Quiz, presented by Modern Bible Study Stories. Created to test your knowledge and deepen your understanding of Holy Scripture. Are you ready to put your biblical knowledge to the test? Our Bible quiz is designed to challenge and engage both avid readers of the Bible and those who are curious about its teachings. For devout believers to beginners, to those interested in exploring the rich history and wisdom contained within this sacred text, our quizzes offer an exciting opportunity to expand your understanding, all while having fun along the way. Our quizzes cover a wide range of topics found within the Bible. From well-known events like the birth of Jesus, to more obscure passages that require careful reading, like the food commonly eaten in ancient times. Our questions will challenge your memory and critical thinking skills, while giving insight to the humanity of the people within the pages of the Bible. Remember to subscribe for future videos, and a thumbs up really helps our channel grow, spreading the word of God around the world. We'd love to hear from you, let us know how well you did in the comment section. Good luck, let's get started. Question 1, Jacob dreamed of a ladder, what was on that ladder? A. Golden rungs. B. Angels. C. Prophets. D. Rubies and emeralds. Answer. B. Angels. Genesis 28 verse 12, he had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth, with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Question 2. Jacob married the daughters of Laban. What were their names? A. Sarah and Hagar. B. Rebecca and Keturah. C. Leah and Rachel. D. Ruth and Naomi. Answer. C. Leah and Rachel. Genesis 29 verse 16. Now Laban had two daughters, the name of the older was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Question 3. God renamed Jacob, Israel, who was Israel's favorite son? A. Reuben. B. Judah. C. Levi. D. Joseph. Answer. D. Joseph. Genesis 37 verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons, because he had been born to him in his old age. Question 4. Joseph interpreted the dream of Pharaoh's servant, the one who would live. D. A. Cupbearer. B. Tailor. C. Groom. D. Magician. Answer. A. Cupbearer. Genesis 40 verse 9 and 12. So the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream, this is what it means, Joseph said to him. Question 5. Why did Pharaoh allow Joseph to leave Egypt for a short time? A. To marry. B. To collect his sheep. C. To visit his family. D. To bury his father. Answer. D. Bury his father. Genesis 50 verse 6. Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father as he made you swear to do. Question 6. What was Solomon's greatest gift from God? A. Jerusalem. B. Wisdom. C. Love of the Queen of Sheba. D. Gold Shields. Answer. B. Wisdom. 2 Chronicles 1 verse 10. Give me wisdom and knowledge, that I may lead this people for who is able to govern this great people of yours. Question 7. What happened to the plague of locusts that descended on all of Egypt? A. Blown into the sea. B. Killed by hail. C. Eaten by frogs. D. Burnt with torches. Answer. A. Blown into the sea, Exodus 10 verse 19 and the Lord changed the wind to a very strong west wind, which caught up the locusts and carried them into the Red Sea. Not a locust was left anywhere in Egypt. Question 8. 
which king did God humble by making him eat grass? A. Saul. B. Nebuchadnezzar. C. Jehoiakim. D. Ahab. Answer, B, Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel 4 verse 33, immediately what had been said about Nebuchadnezzar was fulfilled. He was driven away from people and ate grass like the ox. Question 9, Samuel was given as a child to Eli the priest, because his mother vowed to God, that her firstborn would serve him. Who was Samuel's mother? A, Lydia. B, Tamar. C, Hannah. D, Miriam. Answer, C, Hannah, 1 Samuel 1 verse 28, So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life he will be given over to the Lord, and he worshipped the Lord there. Question 10, Jesus told the crowd that they were an evil generation looking for a sign, he went on to say that he was the Son of Man, a sign greater than Jonah, and, this king. A, Josiah. B, Darius. C, David. D. Solomon. Answer, D. Solomon, Luke 11 verse 31, The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, for she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom, and now something greater than Solomon is here. Question 11, Which apostle's mother-in-law was burning with fever? Jesus healed her, with a mere touch to her hand. A. Matthews. B. Peters. C. James. D. Phillips. Answer, B. Peter, Matthew 8 verse 14, When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. Question 12. This major prophet read the writing on the wall. A. Daniel. B. Isaiah. C. Ezekiel. D. Jeremiah. Answer. A. Daniel. Daniel 5 verse 17. Then Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts for yourself and give your rewards to someone else. Nevertheless, I will read the writing for the king and tell him what it means. Question 13, he was righteous, he lost everything, and he persevered. A. Jonathan. B. Joel. C. Job. D. Judas. Answer, C. Job, James 5 verse 11, As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance, and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Question 14, During the Last Supper, Jesus says that the cup of wine was, A, the prophet's fulfillment. B, the Old Testament. C, the prophet's fruit. D, the New Testament. Answer, D, New Testament. Luke 22 verse 20. Likewise also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Question 15. Paul was momentarily saved from being whipped and interrogated by declaring, A. His second cousin was Governor Felix. B. His position was a Pharisee. C. His Hebrew lineage. D. His Roman citizenship. Answer, D, Roman citizenship, Acts 22 verses 24 to 25, the commander ordered that Paul be taken into the barracks, he directed that he be flogged and interrogated in order to find out why the people were shouting at him like this. As they stretched him out to flog him, Paul said to the centurion standing there, is it legal for you to flog a Roman citizen who hasn't even been found guilty? You made it. So how did you do? We would like to thank you for your support, and our prayers are always with you. Have a blessed week.